Hey guys, it's Esco Bedellian, and welcome back to Skyward Sword. Last time we... something big happened, but we haven't figured out what it is. So, let's find out. A twister! A twister! Big, huge tornado. What's going on? What's a big, huge tornado? What do you think? Howling! Um, physics much? <laughs> Zelda gets sucked in, and Link gets thrown out. By the same object. Doing the same thing. What? Link? I am waiting for you. The time has come for you to awaken. You are vital to a mission of great importance. Link. Wait, now what's going on? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're awake. When your loft wing carried you back, you were limp and unconscious. I feared the worst. Fortunately, I don't appear to have any serious injuries. For that much, we can be grateful. But, Link, where's Zelda? She was with you, was she not? What's happened to my daughter? Clever, clever. This is like uh, Gordon Freeman. I almost said Morgan Freeman, my gosh. A black tornado, you say? Hmm, that was no ordinary storm. <laughs> you must not push yourself. You're still recovering. Tell me, when you saw Zelda today, did anything about her seem off? Again, talking silently. Very clever. Finally getting the link of voice. I see. She was talking about the surface then. And you're having dreams about a great mission? How interesting. I'm sorry. I got lost in thought there for a moment. It's all very strange, but I doubt there's much of a connection between these things. I'm concerned for Zelda, but so long as she's with her loft wing, I'm sure she'll be fine. Either way, daybreak has yet to arrive. It'd be very difficult to spot one girl and her bird in the dark of night. It would also be very dangerous. Rest now, Link. Zilla's going to be fine. She's out there alive. I know it. Hmm? What is that? Hey! Hey! <laughs> it does kind of remind you of a portal turret, doesn't it? By the way, this blue rupee respawns. Just so you know. So, let's see. Ah, that's what was making that noise. You've been seeing, you've been seeing this quite a bit. And oh, come on! Use your inside sprint. When you're chasing a freaking ghost. Come on. Yeah, Link has different sprint speeds. 
indoors and outdoors. You see, he's like full on spring. Inside, it's like a jog. Be careful to turn right as you get that fruit, also. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Got a call. Anyway. I find it interesting that this is a flute and not an ocarina, considering how much an ocarina is associated with the Legend of Zelda series. Oh, here's Mia. Doi, oh, jeez. Should have expected this. Doi, oh, and no way I'm gonna kill. <laughs> going to kill the headmaster's cat. Alright. So, go ahead and leap. There we go. I imagine that the, uh... That ledges are not going to be very long anywhere. Those big ones are annoying because they split into two and they split vertically. Alright. Ah. There we go. I can grab this. Because I'm paranoid. Whoa! Impressed. Swing up to leap, which is very useful, makes it getting up these big walls of vines very easy. And wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? So they materialize through there. With a big, that big door opens up. Yeah, the statue of the goddess. That's kind of a roundabout way to get to get there, but whatever. Inside the statue of the goddess. All right. Wait. Sword already? This is the first close look we get at this thing. The one chosen by my creator, I have been waiting for you. You'll play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. Which, uh means faith in uh in Latin. Like Semper Fi always faithful. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your that is your burden to carry. Come Link, you must take up this sword. As one chosen by my creator it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one, sun, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Goodness, I can't today. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Yeah. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. Do you have to be so robotic about it? My gosh! The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> Yay! And the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, you sh should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. 
Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? Yeah? It seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. My gosh, you're too robotic! Even AIs aren't this eloquent. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Alright. Uh, you have to... Wait a minute. You turn the Wii Remote upside down. You press A. You have to actually draw it up. I love it. And then you point straight up. Yay! You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. This suggests that there's another sword, and I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. I'm pretty sure any Zelda fan knows what it is. But I don't know. It is a blind run. Recognition complete. Master. Link. My master. Link. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword. The very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its long slumber. Do not fear, for it is, when, for it is then that a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword I've been I've kept secret all these years. It began to give off a faint otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There's simply no other explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I've sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. Ah, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information or attention to enter the mission. <laughs> Again, really eloquent. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. The youth draws forth a the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below, and united with the spirit maiden shall bring forth the piercing light that resurrects the land. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the Surface. The old tales describe a whole world below, far more vast than Skyloft. Giddy. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to a vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it, and place it within the altar behind me. The Emerald Tablet. Oh, there's the Emerald. <laughs> um, the weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in this room with a skyward strike. 
These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. Pure energy. Hmm. You'd think that'd be like a nuke. Alright. Take out our sword. There we go. Now, Wii Remote doesn't have to be perfectly upright to do that. You just have to get the sword on screen upright. <laughs> hey, use a harp. Alright. Place the tablet and... They shine you late. Uh, looks like something from Final Fantasy VII. Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Link, listen a moment. The nature of this great apocalypse mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what this fee says is true, Zelda's alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Link. Especially down there. But if you decide to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation. But it was only the start of your journey. Please, see it through it. See it through and prove the legend's true. I mean, it's a lot. Uh, I'm sorry, Link. I know it's a heavy load to shoulder, but you're the only one who can bear its weight. Dawn is drawing near. It's been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Link, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You better change before you go. Damn eyes. Again, I don't want to screw up. Let's play again. Mm. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. Yeah. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. I like the mail. The chain rail, I mean. Take care of on your journey, and make sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I'll return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda will be my prayers. May the goddess watch it over and guide you both. Alright. But it looks like we're about running out of time. So, next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we'll visit the bazaar, uh, pick up some of my equipment, and um, start our adventure. Hopefully. So, this has been Susco Battalion, and I will see you guys next time.